Hello Robotics Notes fans, happy day, and welcome to playing Robotics Notes Like Animal Crossing, episode 4. <laughs> I couldn't remember if it was 3 or 4. It is 12.59am going on 1 on June 13th, 2022. And I think it's time to frickin', it's time to heckin', it's time to gosh in, play some more Robotics Notes uh, Elite. I am actually, um, I'm actually currently in the middle of also playing Robotics Notes Elite for that different thing. Like, here's the scene I, I'm in, but uh, I realized it, it has passed midnight, so I figured I might as well just go ahead and, oops. I might as well just go ahead and uh, record Robotics Notes like Animal Crossing while I'm here. So let's freaking do it. June 13th, Robotics Notes like Animal Crossing begins now. Let's load the data. <laughs> the first bell of the morning rings as we exit the bus and head for the entrance. Yeah, the bell! Akio doesn't even bother opening her umbrella as she steps off the bus and makes a dash for the entrance. Kai! Kai. We'll be late if we don't hurry! She briefly turns her back to me, but I wave her off with my hand. I'm sure they'll let it slide if I'm a few minutes late. I stroll to the entrance by myself. At that moment... Super I hear the strange shout of a girl and stop cold. That voice just now came from the gymnasium, didn't it? The doc the door I was about to say the doctor's still open. The door's still open, so I take a look. I see a lone girl inside. Look at that form. <laughs> the first bell rang already. So what's she doing? There's nobody else around. Judo club uses the gym for morning practices, so I assume she was one of them. But there's no judo gi in sight. Gi? G? Don't know what that is. On closer inspection, I recognize her small animal-like stature, short haircut, and boyish baby face. Pretty sure she's one of my classmates. Uh, what's her name? Crap, I don't remember. I don't think we've ever really spoken to each other. I look through the tag information on my phone droid. Oh right, she's Juna Daitaku. Now I remember. We were in the same class last year. And she's in the karate club? Yeah, that matches up. She must be doing a kata right now. She silently yet furiously repeats a series of defensive body moves. Look at that intensity. The combination of precise movements and silence creates a unique sense of tension in the air. The speed at which she moves her fists is hard to follow by eye, and her occasional jump kicks are razor sharp. But they seem kind of weak. Maybe that's because she looks like a little boy. Or are katas like this no matter who does them? Anyhow, why is she practicing at a time like this? Why is she practicing at a time like this? And in her school uniform, no less. Yeah. She lets out a kind of cute shout as she thrusts her fists in front of her. She straightens out and bows. I guess she's done. She wipes the sweat from her brow like she's just finished a hard day's work and turns to exit the gymnasium. And that's when she notices me. Senpai. Uh. Oh. Our eyes meet. To be honest, we aren't familiar enough to exchange morning greetings. Heck, I have no idea if she knows who I am. But now that we've clearly made eye contact, I can't just walk away without saying anything. I decide to greet her. Morning, Daitaku-san. Uh, us. Yashio-kun. Um, aren't you getting wet standing there? <laughs> she seems to remember my name, at least. Yeah, a little. Hmm. Um, were you watching the whole time? 
I was. I see. Uh, that's embarrassing. She starts squirming, her face bright red. She looks even more like a small animal now. Do you always do that around this time? No, just today. My uh, little brother came down with a cold this morning, so I couldn't practice at home. Huh. So, um, do you not tell anyone about what you just saw? Why not? Because it's embarrassing. Is it? Or it is? It is. Hmm. Hmm. For some reason we stand around silently for a while. This is really awkward, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, more importantly, the first bell's already rang. I need to leave before the teacher comes by. Oh, right. Um, so, I'll be going now. Jinadai Taku says hurriedly and runs off towards the entrance. Her steps are light. She has, it's like she has springs on her feet. From behind, she looks like a junior high boy wearing a sailor uniform. It's kind of charming. If that's what you're into, Kai. You know, happy Pride Month. I glance outside the window and see no sign of the rain stopping. It's been coming down hard since this morning. It's a little chilly and short sleeves. But hey, it's finally lunch break. I watch my classmates pull their lunches out from their bags. The class rep stands in front of the blackboard. I'll be collecting money for lunches now. Now, what should I do? It's raining outside, so I think I'll just grab some bread at Mizuka-san's store and... Class 3-2, Robot Research Club members Akio Sonomiya-san and Kaito Yashioken, please report, or please come to the faculty room. I repeat, Robot Research Club members Akio Sonomiya-san and Kaito Yashioken, please come to the faculty room. Ugh, what? I'm momentarily dumbfounded by the sudden broadcast. Akio quickly stands up from her seat. When her eyes meet, she flashes me a triumphant grin. The time has come. Has it really though, Aki-chan? Our classmates are giving us weird looks. Yashi, oh, what in the world did you do? Maybe the robot club's finally getting disbanded. You should challenge the vice principal to a match to save your club. <laughs> Ignoring the heckling and questions, I shrug my shoulders and exit the classroom. Akio falls after me. <coughs> Little coffees. She looks excited. You could say there's a twinkle of hope in her eyes. Plus her whole posture speaks to how happy she looks. The voice on the broadcast was Vice Principal Usui, wasn't it? Don't know. She wasn't freaking out, so I couldn't tell. This has got to be about the club budget. Vice Principal is finally willing to meet with us. Oh, I'm getting hyped. I don't know if this is the right time for optimism. Plus, why did I get called too? Obviously because you're in the robot club. Now let's go. I fought. <laughs> it bit yawns. I follow the high-spirited Akiho to the faculty room, gently running my hand over her stomach, or <laughs> over her stomach. That'd be weird. Uh, over my stomach, just <laughs> Kaito rubbing Akiho's tummy. Couldn't this have waited till after I had lunch? Excuse us. Hagio Yanks open the door and announces her arrival in a loud voice, boldly stepping into the faculty room. I politely nod to the faculty around us. Inside. As I explained, the whole thing started with Akiho in April. There was a student council meeting. Club budgets were to be determined there, so Akiho attended and demanded a tenfold increase to our funding. I did my best to stop her beforehand, but... Despite the club being a shadow of its former self, it was well funded. Other clubs complained about it all the time. Aki jo just ha Aki jo? Aki Ho just had to go and throw oil onto the fire. She refused to back down and naturally the council had enough of it. 
Akio got in trouble once the VP caught wind. Things got worse when she started making her demands directly to the VP. It certainly didn't help that Akio wasn't the least bit repentant, and in the end, the VP lost her mind over it. And so, here we are, with all funding to the Robot Club on indefinite hold. Or, with all... There's no comma there. It's on indefinite hold at the end. Clearly, she wants us to cool our heads. And that about sums up the current state of affairs. Got it? Vice Principal, Robot Club members Akio Sonomi and Kaito Yashio are here as asked. Hmm. There's a little Easter egg for you. <laughs> Just for all you, you folks at home. There's an Easter egg. You've learned... You've learned some trivia about robotics notes today. Hmm. Vice Principal looks at Akiho and responds with silence. I retreat when faced with the, her intensity. Vice Principal Usui started working at this school four years ago. I don't think I've ever seen her smile. She seems like a stubborn mom who's obsessed with how her kids are taught. She's always strict, too. During assembly, she barks her orders at the student body using the mic on the stage. It's a sight to behold. There are people... Or blah, people here are fairly easygoing, which makes her pretty unusual. But I guess there are faculty who don't live here. Nonetheless, the vice principal looks as menacing as always today. It's extremely clear to me that she's in an awful mood. I don't think this is going to go as well as Akio seems to believe. This is about the club budget, right? Thank you for finally making the decision. We should get straight to the point. Considering our tight schedule, I'd like the money as soon as possible. Akio's words and actions, while innocent, are putting me on edge. Who knows when the vice principal is going to flip her lid at this point. Sonomiya-san, it seems you have yet to cool your head. Huh? Very well. I'd once again like to hear your justification for such a senseless club funding request. Oh, the fact that she's not getting angry is scary in and of itself. She normally start freaking out right about now. This calmness makes me feel like she's in control. Not good. <laughs> Haven't I already explained my reasoning to you a bunch of times? That's why I said again. Hmm. Akio flashed me a troubled expression. For just a moment, straightens up her back and starts explaining. The Tokyo Expo... <laughs> Sleepy cat. Sleepy cat. The Tokyo Expo takes place in February of next year. With robots from around the world set to appear there. The Expo has already been nicknamed the Robot Expo by many. This is the important part. During the Expo, there's going to be a contest held amongst all the displays. There's going to be a Grand Prix winner. And they're going to decide what the best robot in the world is among the entrants. Unlike previous Expos, this one is open to the general public. We can compete too! So long story short, our club is entering our giant robot of justice. Gunvero Prototype Model 1, into the Expo! But with our current budget, there's no way we'd be able to finish in time. In order to complete it in half a year, we need every last bit of money we can get. Yep. This is Akiho's reasoning. She's determined to enter our club into the Tokyo Expo. This is the one dream she refuses to budge on. Hell, I want to support her too, if possible. There are so many hurdles in the way. Sonomiya-san, have you learned nothing? Your explanation just now is completely unchanged from the ones you gave me before. Of course. <sighs> Do you really think that we're going to give you money just because you want to go to the expo? She's got a good point. And what has the Robot Club done lately? What achievements do you have to speak of? As for that giant hunk of metal, the giant robot of justice, Gun Barrel Prototype Model 1, aka Gun Build 1, call it what you will, that robot has been under construction for 8 years, yet still shows no sign of completion. 
Which is exactly why we need the money to finish it in half a year. It doesn't matter how much money you get your hands on when you only have two club members to speak of. That's not true. I'll complete it no matter what. On what grounds? Through sheer willpower. Unacceptable. Ah. Besides, does the robot have to be that large? You should build something more fitting of a student. Then you wouldn't require the excessive funding you requested. But, but... Gun Build 1 is the crystallization of the Robot Club's sweat and tears. It's our dream to bring it to the expo. I can't back down on this. You're being preposterous. Nobody ever likes to admit mistakes due to their own youth. Excuse me? Aki-chan, what are you saying? I know Akiho can get emotional. I know plenty well how strong her feelings for the robot... For the ro bleh. I know plenty well how strong her feelings are for the robot club. This isn't how we win over the principal. The two of them glare at one another. If I'm not careful, I'll get dragged into their beef. The teachers seem to agree, as the faculty room is silent. Hmm. Very well, sonomiya san How about this? Unexpectedly, the one to break the silence is the vice principal. I need to see results from the Robot Research Club. Results? The robot, re the robot Club exists because your sister did a great things. That's why her association was promoted to a club. You should learn from her example. Oh no, I've got a bad feeling about this. Nagafu Nagafukata Sensei. Yes! At the sound of the vice principal's sharp voice, Minji, dozing off in his own seat, jumps to his feet. He basically tumbles his way over to the vice principal's desk. Vice principal, what, what do you need? That robot competition you mentioned the other day. Explain it once more. Oh, uh, Robo One is going to be held in Tokyo on Sunday, two weeks from now. Of course, you are aware of this, sonomiya san Robo, Robo One is a hobby robot competition. Entrants from all over Japan pits, pit their robots against each other in combat. History goes back over 50, pick up 15 years due to the r robot boom. Broadcasts of Robo One get high viewership ratings. The year that the Robot Club began as a student association, they won the championship in their debut appearance. That victory is what the vice principal was referring, referencing earlier. That was the great thing about Misane. Er, bleh, that was the great thing that Misane did, convincing the school to promote the association into a club. Although these days it's just past glory that'll remain forever out of reach. You want us to enter? That's correct, but there's more. You must win. What? That's what it means to achieve something great. If you can manage results like that, the school will consider your funding proposal, sonomiya san However, should you lose... The vice principal clears her throat, seemingly creating a dramatic pause on purpose. The robot club will be disbanded, effective immediately. I see, so that's her aim, huh? Pretty underhanded tactics for an adult, I gotta say. The large robot you've been building will also be disposed of as scrap. Wait, that's a bit too... We'll do it. What? We just have to win, right? That's a promise. You definitely have to keep your word. Of course I will. And the robot club must adhere to these conditions as well. It's impossible. Robo One isn't the same as when Misane competed. Plus, neither me nor Akio has ever been in a competition like that. In other words, this whole situation was manufactured specifically to crush us. This is kinda unfair. End of discussion. She swats me down like I'm a fly. I look toward Michi for help. However, he's standing at attention and grimacing. 
Wait, are his eyes closed? You damn traitor. What a useless advisor. Excuse me. Akio bows deeply and exit with square exits with squared shoulders. Excuse me. I leave the savage atmosphere of the faculty room and take a deep breath. This is real bad. I think to myself as I rub my exceedingly empty stomach. <laughs> Akio, Akio still has a stern expression on her face, standing with her fists clenched tight. I don't want Akio to push herself too hard. Neither of us are in the physical condition for that. Akichan, how about we go grab some grub? I'll win no matter what. That's not gonna happen. How could we possibly just show up and win? I saw the New Year's Eve tourney online and the robots were all incredible. Robo 1 isn't something you can just join and win on a whim. We have literally nothing working in our favor right now. It's not possible, Aki-chan. We are a no-go on the go-no-go -go decision. I repeat myself just to confirm it. The robot club's finished. It's impressive that we held out this long. I want Akiho to give up. There's nothing wrong with taking it easy. The moment you give up is the moment that achievable dreams become unachievable. Aki-chan, we don't even have a hobby robot. Oh. I can tell by the look on her face that she's finally realized the simple facts. You seriously accepted the VP's terms without thinking about them? Kai, what do we do? Don't ask me. Jeez, you're so lazy. At this rate, the club's gonna be broken apart. Wait. No, no! I won't give up. It's fine. I'll work it out. It'll work out. After all, positive thinking is my only redeeming quality. Akio slaps both of her cheeks in an attempt to pump herself up as she tries to convince herself it'll all be okay. Ow. Storm and Surge, Blast of Spirit, Gun Veril, Jaquin. In the middle of the hallway, she suddenly thrusts her fist into the air. Come on, you do it too, Kai. Storm and Surge. No thanks. Come on, do it. It's not happening. It's way too embarrassing. Everyone around us is giving us looks. Some recognize us as the robot club and immediately understand. If you want me to do it, face me and kill Ballad. No way. In that case, I'm gonna go buy lunch. See ya. My stomach's at its limit, so I leave Akiho and hurry off. Blast of spirit! Gun Veral! To be honest, I'm not seeing much spirit. I open my umbrella and make my way toward the convenience store. Dreams, huh? Akio's dream is to enter Gun Veral Prototype Model 1 into the expo and win the Grand Prix. It's fine to have dreams, but right now we're like frogs in a well. Heck, even down in a well, you wouldn't feel this sucky. Having your dreams come true is great and all. But if everyone's dreams came true, the world probably wouldn't run right anymore. Only a handful of people can make their dreams come true. The overwhelming majority of people in the world have no choice but to give up on their dreams. I'm no exception to that rule. Akio was willing to push herself to the limit from the very beginning. She's the type who charges into things face first without even considering her body's condition. It's how she's always been. To be honest, I want to hold her by the back of the collar and stop her. I'm starving. Wait, is the bell's ringing? Is lunch break already over? I don't have the time to go to Misuka-san's store? This sucks. And as soon as I complain, my stomach growls again. I dejectedly return to the classroom, hungry. Hmm. 
After school, I plant myself firmly in the empty classroom and munch on some bread while diving deep into KB. Akio went off with Michi somewhere and hasn't come back. During her afternoon classes, she seemed to be there in body, but not in spirit. Hope she's okay. I pressed A a little too early, but I read the line anyways, because I'm a professional. As the only member of the robot club, as the only other member of the robot club, I should really be there for Akiho, but in truth, I don't actually want to help. Whoops. This is clearly a trap laid by the VP. We have no way of coming out on top in this, so my efforts would be wasted. Hmm. Between matches, I stretch out and gaze. Blah, stretch out and cast my gaze by blah, 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 out the window. <laughs> Huge raindrops fall from the sky relentlessly. What should I do? I'm certain Akio isn't just going to take this sitting down, so I need to come up with a plan of my own. My number one priority is to keep Akiho from pushing herself too hard. Mm. I should go before it really turns into a downpour. At the end of the day, it's common for people to keep putting off problems that are right in front of them. And that is another episode of playing Robotics Notes Elite Like Animal Crossing. I will see you once again tomorrow for another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. No chio!